I'm Colleen Whittingham, Assistant Professor at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte and the author of the recently published JLR article, Geosemiotics and Social Geography, Preschool Places and Schooled Spaces. While the catalyst for this article was a traditional research study conducted in an urban preschool classroom, the paper itself is not a traditional research article. Instead, the paper describes the theoretical and methodological possibilities when investigations of place and space are informed by two complementary perspectives, geosemiotics and social geography. The research study was intended to describe the literacy practices of 17 preschoolers and their three teachers to understand the factors that mediated their literacy practices. For example, one of my interests in mediating factors included the roles of place and space in teacher-child literacy interactions. However, geosemiotics alone did not afford the theoretical or methodological tools necessary to discover or uncover the ways in which spaces are socially produced for and by these interactions. When trying on other tools to address the complex intersections of the built environment and social interaction, social geography afforded a natural complement. And so, geosemiotics and social geography, preschool places and schooled spaces, attends to the theoretical and methodological implications of expanding a view of geosemiotics to include a social semiotic lens. This approach creates possibilities to more fully attend to the dynamic relationship of material, spatial, and social resources as mediators of literacy interaction. The approach discussed in this article affords a way for researchers and educators to think about literacy teaching and learning in terms of how movement and placement of objects and beings in place contribute to the social production of space, revealing power relationships and interpretations of power that may otherwise go unnoticed.